Sweet potatoes are very much not it. Very much bottom of the barrel. Very much like if I wanted something sweet, I would go get a dessert. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, it's Jim and welcome back to my corner of the internet. Thank you for tuning in for another week of me. Today we're gonna be exploring a viral TikTok trend right now, No Nuance November. And I'm gonna do some other people's unpopular opinions and my unpopular opinions to wrap up this November. And we're gonna get right into it, I guess. Okay, we're gonna do what it do because you already know how it So I got a couple of mines and a couple of other people's. One thing I noticed about TikTok, everything is literally so serious. Like, why is everybody so serious? So I do have some of the more serious ones in here, but we can still get it together, still make it fun, still keep it good. Twizzlers are not good. If you eat Twizzlers, I'm just gonna assume that you also eat car tires because that's what it reminds me of. Like, I could tolerate a Twizzler, but I would never go to the store and be like, where's the Twizzlers? Like, who does that? <laughs> Drinking cow juice by itself. Yes, the milk, cow juice. See what I did there? You are disgusted if you just go in your refrigerator and be like, I think. I want some cow juice. And you're even more disgusted if you put ice in it. Like, if it's not with cereal or in your coffee or somewhere else, well, you have no right to drink it. So this is a big one. Regular potatoes are better than sweet potatoes. Don't, don't at me. Regular potatoes are better than sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are very much not it. Very much bottom of the barrel, very much like, if I wanted something sweet, I would go get a dessert. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wendy's is top tier fast food. Let me tell you why. The faux faux faux, you go get me together every time. It's affordable, it's cheap. I get my nuggets, my fries, my burger, and a drink for four dollars and some change. Like, tell me who else is doing it like that? That's actually that good quality food. Like. <laughs> you know you get a fuck of fuck. People that be like, oh, I don't eat McDonald's, I don't eat Wendy's, I don't do this. Like, who are y'all trying to oppress? I hate people like that. Like, <laughs> that's why you don't have to eat it. Chipotle is bland, and Taco Bell is so good. Like, what? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, this is very unpopular because people eat up Chipotle. I feel like it's for aesthetic at this point. Stuff like it's cute and it gives me what I need, but I, it just be like a little season. Taco Bell is never gonna disappoint. I love me a good crush wrap, Supreme, some burritos, some mild sauce. Like it really does for me about how blast like it gets me together. <laughs> This is one I stand on, like, 100%. There is no way. This is, like, no way. There is no way. Raisins come from grapes. I love grapes. Like, and raisins are so disgusting. There's no way those two are from each other. There's no way. Also, cucumbers turn it into pickles. Why can't it just already be a pickle? Like, start off as a pickle, stay that way. Like, cucumbers really could get dismissed. The only time I eat a little cucumber if it's a little piece of my sushi, I could tear that out. But I just don't see how grapes could turn into raisins and a cucumber turns into a pickle. Grapes and pickles are amazing. Cucumbers and raisins are trash. <laughs> Love, baby. It's better than young boy, hands down. Like <laughs> young boy, it's cute when he do. What I see about when Nikki did it for me, but he could stay over there in the trenches. I feel like Love Baby is like 
the leading artist of our generation. Like he does what he has to do all the time and he does like he definitely gives to me. Twitter is turning into Instagram. And Instagram is slowly turning into TikTok. And here's why. I know y'all open y'all apps and know these, these new little things that's been popping up. Like Twitter has Instagram store. They don't have Instagram story. They call it fleece or whatever, like whatever that word is. And but it's basically like stories on Twitter. And if y'all seen Instagram new update, like the photo button is now like the Rails button, which is TikTok, and it has like a shopping bag right next to it. Like these apps are changing. I know, like I know y'all see it. I don't know what this means, but be prepared for something. Cause, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sociopath if you drizzle ketchup on your fries opposed to individually putting on your fry or dipping it. Like, who just goes and takes a bottle or whatever and drizzles on the fries? I think it's so cute. You must be gonna eat it in 2.5 seconds because your fries are gonna be soggy soon, honey. Let's talk about it. Your fries are gonna be soggy by the time you get done with them. Like, I don't see why that's a thing. Like, just put some on the side, dip it to your pleasure. Like. It's not that hard. <laughs> Feeding and sheltering your children is the absolute bare minimum. This is for the parents in the back. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is something that y'all hold over our heads like we ever asked to be on this earth. Yeah. Like, why are you complaining about supplying the basic needs that you know you need too? <laughs> Living through your kids is not gonna fix your past trauma. I'm sorry. Like, you wait for the child to get older in their teenage years so they could play the sport or do the dance or do whatever that you want to do. No, sweetie, that's not how it works. <laughs> sorry to tell you. You still have to work in with yourself. A lot of people have to work in with their self, but you can't be trying to find yourself. You were supposed to already do that before you had children. Come on now. Having a hypersexual son is not cute. I know this might just be in the black community, but I know a lot of people that think it's so cute that they started out here giving it to this girl and that girl and got this hoe and that hoe. Like it's not cute. This is for the parents in the back again. Father not wanting to be with you does not equal, does not equal put it in on child support. And I'm so sorry, I'm gonna stand by it. Like, I understand if you actually need that help, but don't do it out of spices, and that's what y'all be doing. What you've been through in life does not give you the right to treat people other types of ways. Like, just because you have went through your struggle and you climbed up top does not make it right for you to look down on people. Because don't forget that you was right there at one point. Like, I, I hate people that, like, don't have humble beginners or, like, they don't have to have humble beginners, but, like, know where you came from and try to put people on, like, help people get to the next point if that's it. That's the problem. People have this crab in the bucket mindset. Like, and that'd be people problem. Coleslaw is so nasty. Like, who decides to put carrots and cabbage and mayonnaise together and pass it as a side dish? Like, no. Oh, they taste like dirt. They taste like what they are. Let's cook it. Let's put some seasoning on, okay? So that's all we have for today with that i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe down below thank you for tuning in another week of me it's jimmy tv and i'm out of here